Hi guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to gomahamaya.com. In this beautiful tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to track a click on your mobile number in your website. So there's like two different things. Number one, call to phone on your website and click on your number on your website. So two different things are there. Here in this one, the Google replace your number with a redirection number and track that call. Next. In this one, we track click on number, button, image, URL. So for that, there's a documentation in the Google for setting up conversion tracking. When you have links click, if you want to track through GTM, then you should add this one in your URL. And your URL should look like this or your URL should look like this. If you have button and if you want to track the button click, then your button should look like this or it should look like this. That means you need to add extra this part in your HTML code. If you have image, then your image should look like this from HTML codes and vice versa. Similarly, for telephone, click we have a predefined link that we have to use in our website to track so now first step for you is to hover over the goal click on summary and there inside summary click on new conversion and there inside that you have to click on phone calls and there inside that you have to click on on your number on mobile website click on continue here you have to enter your conversion name mobile number click tracking you can give any name to your conversion and next option we have is the value use the same value for each conversion or use the different value for each conversion when you want to set up as in case of conversion tracking when we have dynamic values when we have multiple products in our website in that case or when we have multiple things inside the website and you want to track the value of different different things in that case we assign use different values for each conversion but here i want to use a single value for each conversion because we just only want to track a call so i'm going to add 100 for conversion as we know what the value is all about next we have count so i'm going to choose one for each conversion and there's a click through window that i'm going to make it 90 days and next option we have is click through window so make it at least one week and the attribution model is quite good for recommendation click on create and continue here next option we have is to use google tag manager and now i'm going to take you to the google tag manager we have conversion id and the conversion label once you are inside a google tag manager click over the website which you have linked here mine is lalit cart and there you need to click on new tags and there inside that we have to click on tags and inside the tags we have to choose google conversion tracking so now here we have to go back to our conversion information and we have to copy the conversion id and we have to enter here conversion id and then we have to enter the conversion label i'm going to enter the conversion label here and then i'm going to scroll down before that we have one more thing that is missing is conversion link tag missing in the container so we have to create conversion linker tag so click on the create one so click on the create one and there inside that we have to click here and select conversion linker and then we have to click on enable linking on all pages and then we have to choose the trigger and trigger should be there on all pages so once that is done you have to enter the name of this conversion linker so i'm going to write name conversion linker tag once that is done click on save and now you'll see the conversion linker tag is found in the container once that is then scroll down and click on this particular triggering option we want this tag to get fired on all pages because we are going to track the calls so for tracking the calls we need to write down the name of the tag you can write anything 
I'm going to write Rahul call click tracking tag. Once that is done, click on save. And now we have to publish our work. So we are going to click on submit. And what is the update you have made? You have to write the name of the work. You can write anything just to make sure that you will be able to understand what you update and then you have to write the description that you updated these two things or three things you updated. So I'll be writing the same thing for both name and the description. Call tracking click updated. I'm going to click on publish. Now cancel this. Go back to your Google Ads and once that is done click on next and click on done are you done yet no you haven't because we want to track the click so i need to go back to my website and there i need to edit this number so i'm going to edit as i told you there's a format for tracking clicks when there's a button when there's a telephone number when there's a link when there's an image so currently here you can see there is a button and I'm using Elementor so what should I do now there is no option right so what I have to do I have to go to this option and I have to search for HTML copy the HTML one and paste in this area and remove the button because in case of tracking the number button is not going to work so what I have to do, I have to copy the code for call. I'll be copying it. I'm going to paste it here and I have to replace the number. So I'm going in this area again back. I'm going to copy the pattern. I'm going in this area again back and replace the number. And then we have href part is there. So I'll click on this and I want href part to get copied to again back to call now. So I pasted my href part and now it's looking perfect. So if anyone clicks on that, now it's gonna send as conversion. And we already chose one click per guy conversion. So once that is done, click on update. Similarly in that case, if you have button, if you want to track some button, or if you want to track some download if you want to track some images then simply you have to just copy the thing let's say if you want to track some url then you simply need to copy the url like this go back to this one and inside any of your pages where you want that you just need to paste it and replace the url only this much you have to do replace the URL and you will be like that again here if you'll see button on click return G tag report link is there submit button so you just need to copy it completely and replace the link here you have to replace the phone number here you have to replace the images like that you have to work only this much was there inside google ads call tracking so i hope you find this video useful if you did give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more further updates thank you